happy that ING Group as a whole posted another strong quarter in the second quarter of this year. And on the bank side, as a consequence of the economic recovery, we see lower risk costs, but we also see more client activity. Thanks to the commitment to our clients, we have been able to grow our loan book by 7 billion across all the different activities internationally. For example, in Indonesia, we were amongst the banks to finance a 1 billion geothermal project, one of the largest around, delivering sustainable and reliable energy and reducing carbon dioxide emissions. And the 7 billion growth in loan book was completely funded by 7 billion of new retail deposits in the countries in which we're active as a retail bank. For example, in Spain, we, after 15 years, we now reach 3 million customers. <music> Undoubtedly, the listing of NN Group was a very important moment for ING and in the history of ING. On July the 2nd, we uh, listed NN Group on the Amsterdam Stock Exchange and we sold more than 30% of our uh, interest in NN Group. And that's important. It's important for NN Group to continue as a standalone company and everybody has worked hard on making this possible and I wish the management and all of the employees of NN Group all the success going forward. But it's also important for ING because we can truly focus now on our future as a leading bank in Europe. The last quarter I said that we saw some signs of recovery in the European economy and but that it was still fragile. And also this quarter we've seen some indications of recovery, but I think the conclusion is still that it's very fragile. On the positive side, we've seen that unemployment in Spain has been decreasing, although slightly, but it's a positive sign that could really spark consumer confidence to take off. Um, on the other side, we also know that the recovery in Europe is led by exports. And there, the crisis around Russia and Ukraine could really have a negative effect on the recovery of Europe as a whole. Um, so it's a mixed bag and therefore I think it's still a fragile recovery. From an NG perspective, we've seen that risk costs went down even further, which in itself is a confirmation that things are improving. <music> Although we are active in uh, many countries in, uh, in Europe, where we have 32 million customers, the Dutch economy is also important to us, and that's why we follow it closely. And we've seen a further recovery of the Dutch economy, uh, although modestly. Uh, clearly, at first, the recovery was export-led, but now we see investments coming into the Dutch economy as well. Also in the residential uh, uh, sector, which is important. We've seen uh, confidence coming back in the housing market, with the sales of houses going up year on year as well. So all of that should lead to a higher consumer spending. And although in the first quarter we saw that, we didn't see that continuing in April and May of this year. Now overall, we still expect the economy to grow by about 0.5%, half a half a percent in 2014. But if consumer spending really picks up, we will expect higher growth in 2015. Last quarter I said that if you want to be continuously successful as a bank, your services have to be reliable and easy and at low cost so that you can fairly price your services. Now in order to continue to do that, innovation is key and therefore we launched a worldwide project, an innovation project, in which we asked all of our colleagues to take out some time of their daily activities and spend it on developing new ideas. And from that, 750 new ideas came up. And they were submitted to our first innovation day. And from the 750, we decided to continue to develop around 50 ideas further. Now I'm very proud that, you know, innovation is so close to our hearts and that it's really in our DNA and that we can see that it's just a, such a simple initiative, we already get 50 new ideas. And it's really those ideas that we need to continue to improve the service to our customers. For example, in ING France, 
we launched a web cafe, which is an online community where clients are meeting. And they are helping each other on services, but they're also providing feedback to us how we can improve our services. And they're actually indicating new products that we could develop for them. So and that's the way we want to continue to offer new products going forward and to provide the best service to our customers.